So here's our Perkins engine. It's a Perkins 4108 and I'm going to show you what happened that allowed us to get water in our oil. So the way that a marinized diesel engine works is that the engine is cooled by water that comes through from the outside of the boat. It comes through on this valve right here and it runs up along this hose and through this strainer. It then goes around in this hose here and comes through this transmission cooler which runs around underneath the alternator the water comes out here and runs up into this shiny new raw water impeller pump here which is originally what we thought the problem was there's a shaft that goes through right here into the timing case and we thought that's where our leak was initially this pump pushes the water up through and into this heat exchanger and then it comes out the back side here and the water after it cools the coolant in the engine gets injected into the exhaust right here in this aluminum piece so usually this is a good setup but what the problem is for us is that this is our muffler and it is mounted higher than the engine and there's no anti-siphon brake on this injection point. So what happened is when our raw water pump started to leak by, the water came in, filled up this tube here, and then managed to go backwards through the exhaust into the engine. And that's why our oil level has been going up.